Hey, Phil. I'm sorry you had a head cold yesterday. I'm glad you're feeling better. Yeah, so this is an open dev, they're calling it. So the story is... You're kind of like um, space adventurers and you um, have to move like this crystal core throughout a ship to open up different areas and stuff. And you got to protect your core while exploring uh, this derelict ship. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be easier, I think, Golemets, if I just do an opening run by myself, especially if you have to AFK at a certain time. I played with, I played with the keyboard earlier. I wonder if I should play with the controller. Let me try controller. All right, so here's like the saloon. Like this is like your hub. Um, there's a few main characters so far. This is the crystal bot that you protect each mission. And then you have three characters, Blaze, Bunker, and Zed. And there's a fourth called Shroom that you have to unlock, which I haven't unlocked yet. Um, and then I guess this, this vendor upgrades the stuff. This is the band over here. They play an amazing song at some point. They don't seem to be playing it right now. You got the band. You got a whole bunch of interesting looking patrons. Let's see, we're on a spaceship. There's v Viggy. Remember, hon, everything happens for a reason. In this case, it's just a bunch of dumbasses crash their ships here. Now that we have the big old reloader to bring them back every time, we'll hack all the secrets of this place and get you home. Maybe even alive. Yeah. Here's Fassy. Seen him come and go. Mostly go, in fact. We're all marooned here trying to find a way out or trying to find something. It's gigantic. It's fraught. But the knowledge of the galaxy is down there. And I'm sure that once this game, like, develops more, it'll have, like... You'll have like quests and sideline stories with all these characters here. Um, well, let's jump into a game. Let's jump into a match. I'll show you how this works. You're getting Star Wars Cantina vibes? Oh, for sure. Yeah. All right. So we've got Blaze, we've got Bunker and Zed. And if you play single player, you can, you can control them all. You're looking forward to meeting Shroom. That sounds like he'll be a fun guy. Get out. All right, we'll try Blaze and Bunker. I mean, Blaze and Bunker. Do, 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 yeah. All right, so it's like a roguelite. Um, you do a run, you can die, and then you come back to the base. Um, there are waves of enemies that happen on a timer. Um, and you have to protect your crystal and protect your different elements that you've unlocked from these waves of enemies. And you gain resources by opening doors, right? Okay, so here's, here's the first room on the ship. I, I haven't played with... Um, I haven't played with controller yet. All right, so that's that. This is the first room. Um, you can see on the top right, we have three different resources. We have, I think it's science. Um, I, I forget what they're called. Science like tech and f and food. Uh, science helps you research new defenses, different turrets and th different things to help like, um, uh, you know, battle the enemy waves. The... Um, the actual gears, whatever that's called, the engineering, helps you actually build the things that you've researched. And the food helps you improve your heroes. And we've got two heroes here. 
and you can switch which one you're controlling uh, as your main character. Okay, so here's our crystal. That's what we need to protect. And we've got two doors coming out. Let's open this one up. Okay, I opened the door. I got some currency. Um, all right, here. We can select a resource that will be op produced with every door that I open. All right, I'm going to have it produce the gears so I can put down turrets and such. Any one of these nodes I can use to, to build defenses. Spending my currency. All right, this door is locked for now. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna have both of those do the engineering thing. All right, and, and I have straight shooter turret as my only thing that I can build right now. Terry says, definitely looks like they follow the same formula for Dungeon of the Endless here. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I haven't played any of the previous games. Uh-oh, this got stuff in there. So I have a general, like, attack. I also have an L2 ability and an ultimate ability. All right, so this is a node that will constantly spawn monsters on every single wave. This generates med kits for consumable food. All right, that's 20 for that. Shoot that stuff. All right, let's put a turret in here. So when a, so when a, a wave happens, we have a defense right here already. Let's open up this way. Partially a tower defense game, yeah. And this is co-opable with up to three players. Okay, so select a resource. Let's have it. Give me science when I open doors now. So when I open a door, you can see on the top right, opening a door will give me six science, ten of the engineering gears, and two food. When you explode... Oh, here comes a wave. All right, wave incoming. Um, I want to protect my crystal. I think they're all going to be coming from this way. They all spawn. We only have one, uh, one enemy spawner. So they also go to destroy these science centers and things too. My L2 ability. Puts down mines. All right. That was an easy wave. What is my melee button? Oh, that's this one. Okay, your melee attack, we can heal, heal turrets and such. All right, so that was very minor. Fixed camera. All right, we opened up a new, uh, new door here. Let's see what we got. Oh. All right, so this is another spawner. So when when a, when a wave happens, we'll get monsters from this room as well. Select to upgrade. Uh, all right, so I can improve my character by using food here. Increase, increases heroes ultimate. Increases my crit chance. Increases uh, the max number of mines I can drop. Let's do max mines, and then I can swap to the other character. Oh, or plant a mine, one of the two, and then upgrade him. Now, when you play co-op, you share resources. So you have to kind of talk about how you want to upgrade, how you want to build turrets and things like that. Increase the shove damage, increase heroes return damage, increases heroes defense in the room. Let's do defense. It's very unlike me. All right, this room is locked. Can't get in there. This is... All right, so I can research something using science. Jellifier is a slow. 
Uh, di diagnosticator repairs other turrets in the room over time. Tesla ball, electric damage. High fire rate. Oh, shit. If I research something, it triggers a wave as well. All right, let's just try to defend this here. Whoa. Hey, stop that. Hey, they're getting through. They are, they did get through. They're all the way up here, munching on stuff. How dare you? Oh boy, a whole bunch just got through. What is that turret doing? Oh, we need jello fires, don't we? Okay, let's let's research the jello fire, which kicks off a wave, unfortunately. Oh man, that's a big wave. All right, we got it. All right, so now we, we can kind of hopefully create choke points, right? Jellifier takes six. Yeah, all right, so that they'll slow here and then this thing hopefully shoots them Where else do we want Build the jelly fire jello fires here And that turret can take them out All right, that's it. I'm out of I'm out of cash We got to open doors Originally, opening door would start a new wave. Uh, okay, now opening door gives you resources. Doesn't necessarily start a wave. Um, all right, we gotta go find a door. Another door! Now, at certain times, you're gonna find new nodes to place your crystal in, right? My crystal's all the way back here, and it seems like it's been fairly safe. But there are times where you have to move the crystal to a new location. What the hell is that? Oh my god, a vendor? I haven't seen this before. You cannot equip by Blaze, cannot be equipped by Blaze. Like, oh, you gotta buy it with food, a Gatlin gun. Oh. And he can get... A very crossbow. I can buy that one. Oh, crap. Or a mid-range cone of fire damage? 16. Son of a biscuit. Let's get back. Let's get back! How's our choke point working? Okay, not too bad. All right, everything's okay. Weak wave. All right, um, let's open up another door and then we can maybe buy a new weapon.
don't know what I just got there. Is that a key? Hey, Kilroy, what's going on? This door's locked, too. You would cry, too, if it happened to you. All right, can't get that. Open that. Weak wave or strong bog? That felt like a weak wave. Oh, there's another door in that room. There we go. Oh, no. So now we're going to need defenses here, too. My character is, or the main character is, pretty low life here. What a low life. A hand sprayer. Oh, I'm glad I didn't buy a new gun. Oh, that's a cool gun. Um, I want to heal. Heal hero. There we go. I got one more. Oh, sugar plum fairies. You gotta be kidding. All right. Jellifier. Straight shooter. And there's a way for you to tell the other person, like, um, like give them commands. So that if you're playing solo, you can like plant one hero in one room. Um, when Golomancy jumps in with me, obviously we will be able to split up and handle these waves in different places. Oh, this one's gotten wrecked. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. I think everything gets repaired once the wave is repelled. Yeah, that wave didn't like to being called weak. You're right. You're right. What do we want to do now? There was another room over here. That sucks because now they're gonna we we unlocked another spawn room here, and this is very close to our crystal. Slappy bombs, slap, slappy bombs. Oh shit! I like sloppy bombs. All right, so what can we do? Jelly fire or straight shooter? Jelly fire. I think there should be two jelly fires. And then a straight shooter over here? Maybe? And maybe one here? I might be overdoing it, but it is close to our base. Activate this switch to open all locked doors. Okay. Are we sure that's wise? I guess. Does that trigger a wave? All right, all the other, all the locked doors are now open. Oh god. I don't know where I should be. How do I how do I set him as here? I want him to stay there. I don't know the control for that. All right, let's just hope that that works there. Oh no! Get away from my crystal! What are you? What's wrong with you? Oh, we need a jellifier over here. Don't you dare. 
Oh, I can't heal those. I can only heal the turrets. Oh, I don't have enough points. That wave is still going on somewhere? What's getting hit? Oh my god. Okay. That got hard. This thing is going to stop producing. Oh, no. It, okay, good. It heals as long as it survives. All right. We need money. Money, money, money. There's a little bit of money. If you want to be a straight shooter. gonna be a wave oh bring the crystal bot to the exit door to escape oh okay oh, I didn't realize that's what we were doing here oh god I don't have enough money to do anything else. We're escaping. I guess we could explore more of the level besides escaping. Must go faster. Must go faster. Crystal slot found. You found a crystal slot. Your crystal block can be connected here. All right, cool. Nice. All right, so there's our new spot. This zone has been secured. All right, so we got a new area. So the door locks behind us. Oh, okay. And everything resets. All of our, uh, our producing of materials got reset too. All right, so it's like a checkpoint. This door is locked. Let's see what's behind door number one. I need to heal. Oops. Generator. Definitely a shift from the last one. A lot of ways. It looks like an improvement so far. Terry, what's like? What's like the main big difference? Because I've never played any of the previous games. I love the music. Like if they flesh it out with a story and like voice acted characters and stuff. I can see it being really cool. Like I want to be I want to be able to care about the setting, you know? I think the style looks cool. I like the music a lot, but I need to know who these people are and what's going on, you know? Um Let's do food. Uh-oh. Meta taser. Not be equipped by Blaze. Oh, where oh, did my other? Oh, they're not like together anymore. I wonder what I did. Together again. Oh, I like that. The checkpoint is definitely different. The 3D angle looks a lot better too. The last one was less fluid and more cl clunky. Okay.
how do I how do I get the people together? Let's see if it's in the controls. Okay, uh Oh there's a sprint. Command wheel is R1. Follow me. There we go. Okay. Oops. Alright, so our crystal is in this room here. So we need to protect it. Oh, shit. And not a moment too soon. I like this taser gun. Hi, Rico Peach. Easy as goblin pie. Sure, right, which one's better? Opening doors used to trigger a wave. Ah, okay. Now, I'm glad every time you open the door, it doesn't trigger a wave. Ah, oh, research terminal. Acid sharpshooter? Or is that, that's an upgraded jellifier. Uh, okay, let's do the acid sharpshooter. I'm curious to know what those are like. Can you stash extra weapons anywhere? Apparently not. I think it's a, uh, it's gonna have roguelite mechanics in that regard. Like you, the stuff that you collect is just for this run and then there's upgrades you can do that persist between runs. All right, so now, how much does it cost to make 16. Oh no. Straight shooter is only six, so those are way expensive. And I think um I should have chose the acid spurs because I think bugs are resistant to acid. It's the bots that are affected by them. New unlock, med kit, mega shake. I don't know if, um, I mean, I guess we can make one acid thing just to see what it's like. Oh, you know what? Replace for one. Don't replace it. Oh no, I put it in a bad spot. I can't move it. Uh, okay, that was a bad spot. 